Goldfinch, the Oatmeal Librarian. And today we're going to talk about how you can credit or attribute work that you have found on the internet and that you're using in your presentations. That can be pictures or music, anything like that. There's a right way to cite your source or reference your source. And there is also a proper way to make sure that you are using copyright free material. And that's what we're going to look at right now. You can find just about any sort of photo using Creative Commons Search. I'm using Flickr and I'm searching oatmeal because I'm the oatmeal librarian. So let's just do that search and see what kind of oatmeal photos we find. And that's just great. But since I'm doing something on Creative Commons, and since I know a friend of mine had used something similar, I'm looking for Creative Commons, and I saw something with San Francisco on it. So I'm going to search that. And this is just the sort of picture that I want to use. So I'm going to click on that. And in order to do my proper Creative Commons attribution, there's a couple of things I'm going to check. The author's name is Timothy Vollmer. And there it, he's on Flickr and he's known as Tvol. That will be important later, as you will see. I'm going to go back now. And I'm going to look to double check that I can use this. And I'm going to see what rights are reserved. And here I find that I am free to copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format. I can remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. This will be good for my presentation. So let's give attribution or credit for that photo of cupcakes with the Creative Commons logo. Keep in mind this abbreviation or acronym, TASL. It stands for title, author, source, and license and make sure that you, re you remember which type of CC license your source has. So what do we have here? Well, this is the title of our photo. Our author is Timothy Vollmer. This is the link or our source. It's Flickr, and we're going to be using this link in a minute. And our license is CC by 2.0. We are going to use those four elements. I'm going to highlight this link and I'm going to copy it. And then on the next page I have my title and I am going to go and add a link. In this case, I'm editing a link because I had already copied and pasted it there. It's there. It's done. To save time, I'm going to show you what I did to make my citation a bit shorter or my attribution. I clicked on Timothy Vollmer's name and I found that his Flickr name was Tvol. And by putting the link to this page to Tvol, I don't have to write in Flickr. So if we go back to our slide, you can see that the link is there. But the next thing I have to do is give the license. So I am going to write is licensed under CC 2.0. Zero. Then I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go back and I am going to add that license in. So I've got to get back to my original picture. I've got to get back to the rights reserved.
there it is and then I'm just going to copy the license and I'm going to go back to my presentation and I am going to add the link tell it I want it as a web page smack in there and there we go and that is done my first Creative Commons proper attribution. And just to show you how I'm giving credit for the music that I've used at the beginning of the film and at the end, I had searched for instrumental for film and I used CC Mixer. And what I found was this, this page and I found this theme that I wanted to use. So as you can see, I've got a link here. It's by Ghost. I'm on CC Mixter, and the attribution is 3.0. If I go on to my presentation, you can see how I did it. I've got Reverie, which is the name of the song, and I've got the link. It's by Ghost, and I have the link to his page on CC Mixter. Oops, I wrote this twice, licensed under. So I'll get rid of that right now. And I wrote the link for that CC by 3.0, which we saw on the other page. And I gave a link to this. So you can search for even videos too with Creative Commons Search. That's creativecommons.org. Happy researching. See you next time.